Helen Zille says that uh, uh, we have not, uh, not Helen Zille, you media, you say, not even you. Uh, it, it became a joke that uh, we, we, we signed a document we have not read. Uh, we drafted the document. You see this lady here? She's the best drafter. She's a doctor. She's a research capacity of the ANC. We work as a collective. I had the negotiations. We look at the document. It goes back and forth. It goes to the president. It goes to the officials. We agree on it and the SG signs. So the question that the document was not read is incorrect because we drafted it. You can only not read what you have not drafted. So we drafted the document, we shared with all political parties. They looked at it independently and they signed with us. The first party to sign with us was the DA. Was the DA. Um, and then followed by PA, and then uh, from them, followed by all other parties in the IFP. Now, here is clause 16, what it says. I'm reading it for you. I'll read for you in this document, go and familiarize yourself, clause 16 and 17 of the statement of intent. It says the government of national unity shall be constituted in a manner that reflects genuine inclusiveness, genuine inclusiveness of political parties that are party to this statement of intent and are represented in the National Assembly, broadly taking into account the number of seats parties have in the National Assembly and the need to advance the national interest. The president then shall, in constituting the executive, take into account the electoral outcomes. Helen Zille bring into this, when you talk about seats, proportionality. Proportionality. And then says that in terms of proportionality, we are then being undermined. But leave that it may be. In the document, we don't not even extrapolate uh, proportionality and, and analyze it in detail. We talk about the principle of inclusiveness. We don't talk about proportionality that you'll get five, six, seven, eight. If you bring that in the negotiations, you can. But we made it very clear that to us, inclusiveness means to talk to everybody. But these are things that we'll share with you if you want to run a show on Netflix about what happened behind the talks. Um, so we'll explain that. But the most important thing, that is our under, that is clause 16, right? And then 17 says, whilst recognizing the president's prerogative to appoint members of the executive, such appointments shall be done in consultation with leaders of respective parties of the members considered for appointment. Now, president exercises prerogative. He talks to John Hestazen about Banyaza is going to constitute government in Gauteng. He will talk to leaders of political parties in Gauteng. That, look, and then they will, they will talk about posts. And then that party probably will say we want one post, uh, this and that and that. And then they look into that, they, they engage at their level. Because the prerogative is now constitutional. But we said in terms of the statement of intent, the president will do that uh, after consultation and so on. So that is, that is the statement of intent. It's a public document that everybody has actually read. Have we given political parties uh, positions uh, that are anti-freedom charter? Now, all positions should belong to the ANC. But they would have belonged to the ANC if the ANC won outright majority. So which position is not the position of the Freedom Charter? All of them. 32 ministers, ministries, is it correct? belong to the Freedom Chart. So the question when you constitute GNU, 
at the government level to an extent that you'll say this does not belong to us, it belongs to the Freedom Charter and all of that. Which one is going to be that? Because all of them are important, including Gate and Mackenzie's position. They're very important. Sports, arts, and culture, it's very important. Social cohesion, nation building, it's a big problem. One politician said to me, and one politician once criticized me and said, hey, Zuma Unyatsitem. Ufile ministry waru uralu kedi dangari liva nanyana and all of that. Now I won't quote that politician. And then another politician said, you know, uh, sports, you're taking it very serious. It's a very important position. In apartheid era, I was minister of education and sports. I ended up becoming something important after that. So don't take it for granted. Because it's an important position, not for your own self-aggrandizement, but it is the position that makes you people happy. You, you, you are part of the people who, 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 who generate happiness index for the country. And you can see it like, it's like Gaten is going to make us happy. Uh, <laughs> the guy is, uh, the guy is, uh, it's like Rasmataz. <laughs> If you like it, you see. So, it's not the position you take for granted. We used to wake up early, fetch people from the airport, make them feel good, make them embrace Makazi, Tyler. When they arrive at airport, you must be there. Dinners are organized. People are given houses. They are given land in other countries when they've won medals. That's how important that position is. So when you say we have given positions to other political parties that undermines the Freedom Charter, I think every position, my brother, belongs to the Freedom Charter. And the Freedom Charter says the people shall govern. And if you read the principles of the Freedom Charter under the people shall govern, it respects the power of the people through vote because we were disfranchised. So the vote have spoken. The vote said to the ANC, you've got 40%. You've got 34 in Gauteng. DA, you've got 28%. We don't govern. If we governed, we wouldn't be having this press conference. By the day the president was inaugurated, the following day, cabinet would have been announced. We had to take time to start to talk to people that we even never thought would talk to them. Others you don't know, the name of the party properly, who's the leader, and then you've got to find them, where they are, how they are thinking, do they think about the country, talks about talks, you sell the idea. And then others, when we talked to them, they said no. They came, others, with this blackness and a fake liberation movement concept that's fake, because when they were supposed to understand this politics at a given point in time, they didn't. But South Africans have given us this outcome. And that's where we are as the ANC. And it stands to be seen what this JNU is going to do. Politically speaking, it can be a formidable force, or in the process, others may move away from it. But it won't collapse. One thing for sure, it won't collapse. Others may decide that this thing is not working for us. We have tested for a few years. Ah, uh -uh, it's not working for us. We are leaving. You get what I mean? But they will be replaced. So at the end of the day, GNU is constituted with the ANC in majority working with others, not outright. And that's what it is. We've got mechanisms which is what now, as I conclude, how we are going to deal with matters. Remember, the statement of intent does not replace the Constitution. That's what is important. The statement of intent does not replace how cabinet functions. You know when people were being sworn in today, others cannot even pronounce conscientiously. <laughs> very difficult, can, 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 yes, uh, it's very difficult. I had a difficulty myself when I became the deputy minister for the first time to pronounce that word conscientiously. 
But that oath is loaded. Do as you wish. You act like you are not following that oath. That's why Justice Zondo was saying, say it in English, if not in Corsa, and you sign for it. Because that's not a picnic there. A minister must be minister. That's not a picnic. Deputy minister must be, I will respect my office. That thing is not a child's play. You serve the people of this country. We wanted to reduce government to 25, actually to 21, as ANC. The people of South Africa humbled us. There now we've got 32. There. We don't have a choice because it's the reflection of the will of the people. We bring everybody on board. And then let's work for South Africa.